Close to four years ago in August of 2020, I made a video testing out a Virtual Boy emulator for the 3DS. I had seen others test that same emulator out with moderate success, but none of the ROMs I played worked and or had major graphical glitches, which led me to believe the emulator was bad and I haven't tried it since. But just a few days ago, someone by the name of Skyflugel on GitHub released a new Virtual Boy emulator that touts a lot more features than the old one. It can apparently run every official Virtual Boy game at full speed and let you configure the controls. It's called Red Viper, and the GitHub release has 3DSX and CIA versions. We're looking at the CIA version today. The installation process is very simple, but you will need a modded 3DS with Homebrew installed on it to get this on your 3DS. This is not a modding guide video as those tend to get outdated very quickly, but going to 3ds.hacks.guide will give you the most recent and easiest way to mod your 3DS in the modern day. As I was saying, installing this is very easy as you just need to drag and drop the CIA file into the CIA's folder on your 3DS or the Nintendo 3DS folder if using the 3DS X version. Next, install it onto your 3DS via FBI and you should be all good. Just launch it from your home screen and make sure you have Virtual Boy ROMs on your 3DS in some folder somewhere so you can play them. So opening up the emulator, we're greeted to a plethora of options including loading a ROM, controls, and options. Options lets you change the color filter from red to whatever you want, giving you presets for red and gray, as well as other options regarding sound and speed. Controls lets you change the layout of A and B and the layout of the touchscreen controls, and load ROM, as you'd expect, brings up a file explorer so you can choose where your ROMs are stored, which is annoying at first, but it defaults to that folder every time you open it afterwards, so it's fine. This is the point in the video where I test out a bunch of games, show you guys what works, all that jazz. Something I did want to say though is that at multiple points during this testing, I did use the 3D slider. I did put the 3D slider up to test out the 3D effect, and it is noticeable, but I can't show that on camera, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. All right, let's get to the testing. What?
Bruh. <clears throat> Don't the heck? Oh, this is the virtual stuff. Depth. Let's change the color filter to gray. See how that works. I think the white, the black makes it easier to see. So almost a year after the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U eShops were shut down, and many, many years after gamers considered the 3DS a dead system, there's a new emulator released for it. And I think that's really cool. Now, one thing I think that's important to point out is that this emulator was built upon the older Virtual Boy emulator. It says, a Virtual Boy emulator for the Nintendo 3DS continuing Mr. Daniel P's work on 
R3D Dragon, which is the emulator for the 3DS before that I didn't think ran very well. But it's still really cool to see that emulation work is still being done on the 3DS because I've always considered the 3DS probably be most people's easiest way of getting a portable emulator since they probably already have a 3DS or a DS that they can just mod instead of having to buy one of these like portable devices that I have. And this is just proving my point further. This probably means very little in terms of the future of emulation and like developing emulators on the 3DS because there's not really much more we can do. The consoles that can run really well have already been perfected a lot and the consoles that can't, like they don't have emulators. The only one that I can really think of is Day Dallas X64, which there is a version that was released in 2022 that I haven't tried out yet, but from what I remember from my testing of it, some of the games, a lot of the games didn't really run very well. So the consoles that have already been ported or have emulators for them, their emulators have been perfected. So there isn't really any more we can do in terms of emulation, but I wouldn't count it out completely considering a new Virtual Boy emulator was released in 2024. I wouldn't really expect it, but seeing Red Viper and how well it runs with everything and seeing how it's kind of polished a lot of stuff that used to not run well in terms of Virtual Boy on my 3DS, I think is really, it's possible. I wouldn't say that anything would come in the near future. We're probably not gonna get anything because most of the stuff that is above these systems isn't gonna run well, but I mean, we can always hope. Virtual Boy emulation has never really been a hot button topic, seeing as the Virtual Boy was never really that popular. There's kind of a cool novel thing to it. Like it's cool that there was a virtual console, a virtual a VR console released in the 1990s. But besides that, are the games really that good? But just seeing the amount of effort put into this and how excited some people are that this thing even exists, I think shows that the 3DS emulation scene is far from dead, even if the system's been dead for like five years. But what do you guys think? Do you think this thing has a reason to exist? Do you want to mod your 3DS more now? Or do you think this is stupid and has no reason to exist? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.